when we parted ways from work in that 10 year span where all that ugliness happened, that became a very dark period of time. I do feel bad that the book set us back and I feel bad that you feel bad about it and that you're hurt about it. Join us friends to know what tragic accident happened to Paul Tweedle Jr. and real truth behind leaving the show. At the end of video, I am going to reveal what Paul Jr. said about her recent lawsuit. So, watch this video till the end. Let's get started. In September 2002, the revolutionary reality TV show American Chopper debuted on television. One of the first of its type, reality TV used a documentary-style production to follow personnel of a firm and their interactions with customers, colleagues, and the organization's many projects and activities. If you have been following the men from Orange County Choppers from the start, you will never be able to forget all that the family has been through. There was a time when it looked like the family would never recover, since they were seemingly irreparably damaged. Many motorcycle lovers, especially those who are attracted to the aesthetics of chopper bikes, either know about or have heard of the popular reality TV series American Chopper, which debuted in the early 2000s. This documentary series provides an inside look at the inner workings of Orange County Choppers, a prominent custom motorcycle manufacturing business with its headquarters located in Montgomery, New York at the time. The team's amazing workmanship is on full display, and viewers are further captivated by the compelling conflicts, drama, and difficulties that come with operating a family-owned company. This highlights the bond between Paul Tweedle Sr and his son Paul Jr. in particular. On October 2, 1974, in Orange County, New York State, Paul Michael Tuttle Jr. was born into the world to Paula and Paul Tweedle Sr., being the oldest child amid younger siblings Michael, Daniel, and Kristen. He was reared in a low-income environment. There were problems in the home since his father was heavily involved in the drug and alcohol industries, but Paul Sr confronted his demons by going to meetings of Alcoholics Anonymous, and in 1985, he overcame his issues. After 26 years of marriage, Paul Jr.'s parents split in 1995 due to disagreements. Paul Jr. began working as an apprentice at his father's company, Orange County Ironworks, when he was 12 years old. He reasoned that a vocational high school would provide him with additional welding instruction, but the instructor lacked the necessary background. In order to improve his abilities even further, the Board of Cooperative Educational Services gave him the chance to participate in a program. He never turned around once he was at last prepared to go work with his father in his last year. His appearance in American Chopper in 2003 marked the start of his rise to fame. The show's primary topics are him and his father, who runs Orange County Choppers, a business in Newburgh, New York. Their specially constructed, chopper-style bikes were the exhibition's major draw. Regretfully, the father-son team's diverse creative approaches and philosophies may sometimes result in arguments. This became a defining feature of the program until 2008, when one of their arguments grew heated. For its sixth season in 2009, the program relocated from its Discovery Channel launch to TLC, a sister channel. But when the show was canceled the next year, the two got back together and started a new show called American Chopper, Senior vs. Junior. After returning to the Discovery Channel, the program ran for 10 seasons in total, concluding with The Chopper Live, The Revenge, in 2012. Paul began managing his own projects at OCC prior to starting his own business, he also designed a dog park in Montgomery, Alabama, New York. In a statement, he declared his intention to launch his own motorbike business and claimed he was looking to hire Vinny DiMartino and Michael Tudel, two former workers from his father's business. But when he left Orange County Choppers, it was a year after they had signed a non-compete agreement with him. The concepts created by Paul Jr. will be included in a future American Chopper, Senior vs. Junior episode. Even once the program ends, there will still be direct rivalry between the two businesses, and additional former OCC workers have now joined Paul. It was revealed in 2014 that he has also designed two motorcycles 
for the Blizzard Entertainment video game World of Warcraft, in addition to bikes for the movie Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows. Paul Jr.'s father was a promoter of American Choppers, along with his brother Michael. This business partner filed the first complaint in 2005. Tom Derbyshire, who had financed the project, said that Paul Sr. had falsified the paperwork in order to refuse him any of his shares. In 2018, after years of legal battles, Paul Sr. filed for bankruptcy and shut down his business. It is likely that Paul Sr. brought the most well-known legal action against his son in 2010 because the latter desired for Paul Sr. to buy Paul Jr.'s 20% share in the company. After the lawsuit generated a flurry of legal challenges, Paul Jr. was able to convince a lower court that he was not required to sell all of his shares and that holding out for a decent price would have been greedy. Paul Jr. filed a second lawsuit in response to his father's first, accusing him of serious fraud and seeking $100 million in damages. There have been many more legal disputes throughout the years, but these are still the most well-known ones. Following their departure from Orange County Ironworks, the father-son team launched their own custom motorcycle company. The establishment of Orange County Choppers was the result of this choice. Pilgrim Films and Television soon contacted them with the concept for the television series American Choppers. The pilot was released in March 2003. Over a period of more than seven years, the original program lasted for six seasons. Because of the amazing workmanship of the motorcycles Orange County Choppers built, the event quickly gained a lot of popularity. Among the many strange motorcycles on display during the exhibition are the World of Warcraft bike, the Comanche bike, and Black Widow. The incredible abilities of Paul Tweetle Jr. and the wonderful employees at the business propelled each of these motorcycles. In addition to these incredible motorcycles, Tweetle Jr. and Tweetle Sr. arguments were another well-known aspect of the show. In about all of the original series episodes, the father and son duo got into arguments. After a heated debate, Tootle Sr. eventually fired Tootle Jr. in 2008, owing to differences of opinion. The father and son became so estranged from one another that the father filed a lawsuit against the son for forcibly stealing his 20% stake in Orange County Choppers. Tootle Jr. was finally compelled to give up his ownership of the company as a result of his protracted legal dispute with his father. Tootle Jr. attempted to mend relations with his father on occasion after leaving the Orange County Choppers. In the year, he waited for his non-compete to expire. He worked on a few of builds for the OCC team, but in 2009, he closed the store to start Paul Jure Designs, a custom bicycle company. Paul Tweetle Jr. left his father's store and the program to concentrate solely on expanding his own company. The son was finally able to focus more on his artistic endeavors and less on their frequent arguments with their father as a result. His amazing custom bikes were the reason his firm took off, and they also quickly paved the way for other partnerships with other well-known companies. The PJD, a charming tiny electric bicycle with a throwback aesthetic and a chopper-like appearance was the most inventive. The firm of Paul Tootle Jr. produces excellent motorcycles as well as other upstanding things. People still remember the prodigal son because of his tremendous celebrity from the popular American Chopper program. Now that he is making amazing custom motorcycles and spending equal amounts of time with friends and family, Tootle Jr. is happy with his life. This did not, however, imply that Paul Tootle Jr.'s TV career was over. The producer of the first series, American Chopper, Senior vs. Junior, brought the program back in 2010. Participants in the program included PJD and the OCC. It was in operation till December of 2012. A few more spin-offs of the program followed, the most recent of which concluded in 2020. At first, there were unproven reports that Paul Tootle died in a motorbike accident. Later on, these accusations were dropped. A second fake headline surfaced later, saying that the reality TV star had pancreatic cancer and was dying. Despite his health problems, Paul Tweedle is still alive as of right now. Paul Tweedle Jr. has a $10 million net worth. 
the 49-year-old American TV personality and motorbike designer gained notoriety for his work on the popular series American Choppers. Toodle has made a strong name for himself in the business and is well known for his skill and inventiveness. His commercial endeavors have led to a recent boost in his net worth. Toodle has been able to support himself well off of his special skills because to his love of motorbikes and excellent sense of design. Toodle's tale of success might be a model for aspiring designers and business owners. His perseverance and commitment have paid off, enabling him to accumulate a sizable fortune. Toodle is a real icon in a field where living a lavish lifestyle is the standard. It's obvious that Paul Tweedle Jr. will have an impact on the motorcycling industry and beyond with each new project he takes on.